I found this interesting math question. This question says calculate the length of a side of an irregular hexagon where all sides have the same length and the hexagon is fitted within a square of side length 1. What does it mean? Let me clarify this mathematical problem. This question says that this is a irregular hexagon if we consider this part and each length of this irregular hexagon is equal. That means length of this and length of that is equal which is equals to that which is equal to this and that they are completely equal let us consider the side length of this hexagon is x that means each length will be x and this mathematical problem says that this irregular hexagon is fitted within a square having the side length of 1. That means this is a square and side length of this square is 1. From here to here is equal to 1. Here to here is also equal to 1. This problem says we have to find out the value of this hexagonal side length means what's the value of x. Can you imagine how can you solve it? Well, this is a so simple problem. It seems like complex, but it has a simple solution. Believe me, just stay with me and see how simply I can solve this mathematical problem. You can notice here, if you consider this part only, this is a right angle triangle where this angle is 90 degree. And let me rewrite this right angle triangle. Let us consider this right angle triangle, this length is A, which is represented here, and that length is B. I am just rewriting this triangle here to make it simple. And let us consider this length is C. This is a right angle triangle, and we can formulate this uh, triangle according to the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean's theorem says that A square, which is this one, plus b square which is this one which is equals to the square of the third length that means c square now this is the starting of our mathematical solution what is a a means from here to here look at here we got this length and we got that length and we know the total length that means this length minus that length which is equals to a that means 1 minus x which is equals to a and then whole square plus b what does it mean b b means total length is one if we subtract this part which is equals to x one minus x and which is equals to this part b which is equals to c square what is the c square c square here is actually the x i can rewrite here actually x x square and you know a minus b whole square that means 1 square minus 2 times a times b um, plus b square means x square a square means 1 square which is 1 minus 2 a means 1 b means x that means 2x plus b square means x square which is equals to also x square right now this this is um, becoming simple x square plus x square means 2x square and then let's work with 2x minus 2x minus 4x right and then plus 1 plus 1 means plus 2 and right hand side x square 2x square minus 4x plus 2 and then x square from right hand side by minus x square which is equals to right hand side is 0. Now, 2x square minus x square, that means there is only 1x square minus 4x plus 2, which is equals to 0. And this is the equation, this equation called quadratic equation. Maybe you know this. Quadratic equation always has two solutions, possible solutions. And let's say the possible solution of this x1 first solution and x2 means one solution or second solution i will find out what is the quadratic uh, general form of quadratic equation in pq form x12 is p over 2 plus minus p over 2 
whole square minus q and this total term under square root this is the general form of a quadratic equation and what is p and q here right p is the first one here which is minus 4 i can rewrite here this is p and q is plus 2 if you substitute this 4 minus 4 as a p here and 2 as a q here we can solve this quadratic equation let me solve it here so um possible solution let me hear solution x1 and 2 which is equals to um minus here p means minus 4 over 2 bracket plus and minus according to this general form square root of p over 2 p means minus 4 over 2 and whole square minus q q means here plus 2 that means here is 2 minus and minus 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 is plus plus 4 over 2 means only 2 here plus and minus square root minus square means it's plus and 4 over 2 is 2 and then plus 2 square means it is 4 and then minus 2 what does it mean it means 2 plus minus square root 4 minus 2 is 2 so we know square root uh, square root 2 is equals to 1.4 something right this is the value of square root 2 that means 2 plus minus 1.4 it has two solution first solution is x1 first solution is if you consider this plus value here then it will be 2 plus 1.4 means 3.4 and second solution could be x2 which is second solution 2 minus 1.4 so second solution x2 is 0 0.6 look at here x this is the value total length is 1 that means x will be less than 1 that means this solution is not valid it cannot be 3.4 it is more than 1 so it cannot be valid so our solution is this x is equal to 0 0.6 so x is equal to 0 0.6 is the answer is not it interesting see this question is so complex but answer is so simple mathematics is all about this logic and simply you have to just use your brain and by this way you can solve any kind of mathematical problem mathematics is not complex believe me it's always interesting if you use your own logic so this is the complex problem but solution is pretty simple hopefully you enjoy these videos if so then i request to subscribe this channel it will help me a lot Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.